So hey guys, my name is Ghatak and in this video today I'm going to show you where to find uh, the three pieces of murder clues in Red Dead Redemption 2. So in order to find out where can we find exactly these three clues, I would recommend you to watch this video till the end and I'll specifically be showing exactly where you can find these clues. So the first clue you would be able to find it uh, near the Valentine's Road itself like when you move from the first camp, the beginning of the uh, Horseshoe Overlook that's uh, your second camp right in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you, once you move from the uh, camp and head towards Valentine there's a road and uh, in between the road there's this bridge kind of thing uh, you would be able to see it in your map as well and there would be a uh, you know body which is being uh, ripped apart and as you can see in the video you would be able to see some blood trails as well near the road of this valentine and let's continue with the video and watch for the second location so the second location is located to the southwest direction of valentine specifically below the water crossing at south of wallace station and while heading towards it I had met some of these guys and I decided to kill them all. So likewise the clue at Valentine, uh, here too at the second location, uh, we would be able to see the trails of blood once we reach the point of the clue uh, where uh, you would be able to uh, uh, you know, see uh, the parts of the uh, murder, like the murdered body and it's like once you uh, reach the marked location, you have to climb up a little uh, hill, so it's exactly located here uh, in, in this way uh, you would be seeing a couple of vultures uh, wandering up around the body and it's stuffed. So this is the second location. You can do it in any way, any order, uh, any uh, as, per, as per your comfortability. There is nothing such like you have to do it uh, how I did it. If you have discovered all of them oh, uh, once. Uh, I have restarted this game right from the beginning itself, so that's the reason why I have been doing uh, from Valentine. And before heading uh, towards the third location, here I decided uh, to take a brief moment of pause before heading towards the third locks. And I wanted to take down this body down, so yeah, here I am shooting down the rope okay so that's down yeah so this is this is this is how uh, uh, we can find the clue uh, of the second murderer and I haven't completed yet uh, the other missions so here as of now while I'm heading towards the third location I had to encounter this guy so I also like yeah obviously they had to be taken down so the third location is somewhere around the uh, Braithwaite Manor. Uh, if uh, you guys have already completed the whole map, it would be quite easy to pinpoint the locations. But So here it is, I am in the third location and this place would look like this. There would be a large uh, tree and yes, uh, if you exactly can see right now, it is to the uh, east of uh, Braithwaite Manor, uh, just along with the 
uh, S of meadows uh, towards the south of meadows, like the S, the letter S. It's located towards uh, southeast precisely, and this tree would look like this. So, yeah, let's go and check the clue. Yeah. So the pattern looks all similar. The murderer has used the same kind of weapons, I believe, and uh, people were murdered the same way. Point okay. with you. Huh. So that's all. This is all the clues, three locations of the murderer's clue. Once you have this clue, you would be easily able to, uh, you know, fetch out the murderer. If you like this video and if you have uh, found this was uh, quite relevant to the point, do leave a like and comment down below. And also for more such contents, keep uh, this channel subscribed so that you do not miss out any relevant contents like this one in future. Thank you for watching.